Hey guys, 770 Rocks here, and I'm going to be talking about AJ Styles versus Roman Reigns WWE Championship match at Payback, which just even saying that and thinking that blows my mind because who would have thought, you know, AJ Styles, just a few months into his uh, WWE, you know, run, he's already getting a WWE uh, World Heavyweight Championship match, and that's just insane. I never would have said this. Freaking last year, if you had told me this, I would have said you're out of your mind. So I'm just really happy for him. Um, and a lot of possibilities for this match, especially with what happened last night. Um, I just don't see it being Reigns, you know, spearing uh, AJ, uh, you know, in the match, and uh, you know, getting the one, two, three, and that's it, a clean uh, win. I just don't see that happening. I just, maybe I'm wrong or something. Maybe I'm just overthinking it. I love AJ Styles so much, but I'm saying something has to go down at this pay-per-view match. Um, I just don't see there being a clear winner or like AJ winning clean or something. I just don't see that happening. Um, I feel like there's a lot of possibilities, especially with uh, Anderson and Gallows, of course, debuting. And I said this a while ago. Um, when they debuted, I made a video talking about it, of course, and I said, them attacking the Usos, that's got to mean something since uh, Styles is going to verse Reigns at the pay-per-view. And sure enough, it looks like it could be heading in that direction. It looks like we could be seeing the Usos and Reigns versus uh, Styles, Gallows, and Anderson maybe the week before uh, the pay-per-view match. I would really, really, really want to see that. Um... Or maybe it's going to take place the night after Raw or something, um, the night after Payback. So, I mean, it could go, you know, Styles, he's the whole thing. He's like, doesn't want them attacking him. You know, he didn't know about it. You know, yes, they're friends, but he had no idea they were attacking. So it could go at Payback. They attack him. You know, Styles is like, you know, what are you doing? Blah, blah, blah. The ref's knocked down, whatever. You know, what are you doing? And then capitalizes, hits the Styles Clash, pins Reigns, one, two, three, and he joins uh, with Gallows and Anderson celebrating as, you know, the Bullet Club or whatever. They're stable. Um, it could go that way. Or I've been seeing some people think it might actually go, uh, it looks like they're going to help him again. Styles wants them to help him. And then they turn on Styles and they, you know, join Reigns, making Reigns the heel. So uh, that could be quite possible. I mean, it could also be just Styles uh, or Anderson and Gallows coming in to help him. Styles, you know, says, no, I don't need your help. Get out of here. And then turns around and gets speared. One, two, three. Um, something like that. I mean, Gallows and Anderson, I think definitely, definitely they have, they're going to have something to do with whatever happens at the Payback match. And I really look forward to it. Payback's looking really, really good. I mean, Jericho and Ambrose, Zayn and Owens, I mean, that just sounds amazing. I can't believe that's that's happening on a WWE pay -view. just like Styles uh, getting a world title shot. I mean, Charlotte versus Natalia should be really good um, with Ric Flair and Bret Hart basically recreating their uh, NXT TakeOver match. I think it was that TakeOver. I forget which one. But it was for, like, the Divas or the Women's Championship for NXT. Excuse me. Um, but I really, I'm just really looking forward to this. I have no idea where they could go with this, but I just feel like there's so much stuff. It shouldn't just be, you know, Reigns gets the win and it's, it's like that. Something's got to go down. Um, and I'd love to see uh, Styles actually turn heel. Uh, but I would also like Reigns to turn heel a lot more, honestly, just because him getting booed every night, it's not even to the point where it's like, you know, whatever he does, he's going to, or it is to the point, whatever he does, he's going to get booed. So I say why not turn him heel finally. I think a heel uh, turn for him is long overdue. They should have turned him heel a while ago. Just because, I mean, just think the kids, the kids watching are thinking, you know, this guy's WWE champion. He's supposed to beat the bad guy, Triple H or whatever. Yet, why is everyone booing him? Why is the kid going to cheer for him if everyone's booing him? I don't know. So, um, let me know what your thoughts on, are on this. Do you think Anderson Gallows will have something to do with Styles possibly winning the WWE World Heavyweight Championship? Or do you think they might help Reigns? Do you think Reigns will have the Usos come in to make the save or something like that? I want to hear your thoughts. So, thank you so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, all the good stuff. Follow me on Twitter at 7 w Rocks. Um, I'll be tweeting during TNA tonight. We got Hardy versus Hardy in an I Quit match. So, that should be really good. Looking forward to that. So thanks so much for watching. As always, have a nice day.